The first step of our procedure is to place a central venous introducer in the typical fashion. Typically, the introducer catheters are six French. Larger catheters may allow leakage around the wire and are not recommended. Next, we're going to place the small cap over the end of our introducer. This will be important later on when we are securing our pacer wire. Our second major step is to take out our pacing wire and test the balloon. The kits often come with a special syringe to avoid overinflating the balloon. But if not, be careful of the amount of air that you put in so as not to overinflate and rupture the balloon. Next, place the sterile sheath over the pacer wire. If this step is missed now, there's no going back and you'll have to start all over. Once you have the sheath over the wire, we want to put the small connector plugs into our pacing wire. These should be included in the kit. Next, hand off the connector wires to a non-sterile partner who will connect them to the pacer box. The red connector is the proximal connector and is positive. Think of proximal, positive, and red cross to remember these. Our third major step is to set up our pacer box. Your partner should turn it on, Set the heart rate somewhere around 80 to 100 where it will be distinguishable from the native rate. Turn up the current all the way and turn your sensitivity all the way down. Or switch your pacer box into asynchronous mode if possible. Our fourth step is to float our pacer wire. We're going to advance the pacer wire somewhere around 10 to 15 centimeters to get the tip and the balloon past the end of our introducer. We inflate the balloon and continue advancing. Once we get to a depth of about 35 to 40 centimeters, we should start seeing capture on our monitor as evidenced by the wide complexes that look like PVCs. When we see electrical capture, we also want to look for mechanical capture and can tell this by looking at the pulse ox waveform, which should show pulsations at the same rate as our pacer. Once we have electrical and mechanical capture, give the wire a little jiggle to make sure it's stably in position and then deflate our balloon and advance another couple centimeters. Our last step is to tweak our pacer box settings. You can keep the heart rate where you set it at 80 to 100 beats per minute. You want to turn down the current to the point where you lose capture. And then turn it back up to double that amperage. I would suggest leaving the sensitivity alone for the time being but it can be adjusted if you want the pacer to sense native beats and to not pace where it's not needed. Once you have your pacer placed, secured, and set, send your patient to the next stop on their journey, whether it's the cath lab, ICU, or another receiving hospital.